Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I just did a video on a hotkey to give you this right here. We hit down the, uh, I, I made it the equal sign, then you can change the size. And I thought this would be really cool for the nudge distance. Your nudge distance is set at a half an inch right now, and that's gonna nudge that box a half an inch, it's a half inch box. But to change that, you have to be unselected from the item because our nudge is gone. So if you unselect it, there's our nudge. It sometimes it be might be nice to be able to select an item and then pick your nudge. So if we go to tools, options, customization, and normally you could go up and pick the nudge, but you can't because it's not picked. So just type in nudge. And there it is right there. And then go to shortcut keys and name it a new shortcut. And I'm gonna just use the, the escape button and I'm gonna assign it. And then I'm gonna I'll move this up where we can say okay. So now my nudge is a half. If I wanna hit the escape key, I can change it to one inch. And then when I nudge this, it's gonna nudge one inch. And we can kind of prove that here by moving one over. So these are two half inch squares, well, plus key. And when we select on this one, we can hit the escape key and change that. Let's just change it back to 0.5. So now it's gonna move it over to half that side or to that box, because it's a half inch box. Hit the escape key, change it to one inch. And now it's gonna nudge it over to the other side of the box. As you can see, like right now, your nudge is gone. But if you deselect everything, it's here. So what it's doing is actually going up and changing your nudge factor. But this will be pretty nice to hit the escape and change it to, you know, two inches and hit enter and then move that over two inches. Anyway, just an idea. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.